Welcome. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use sudo class to create good user experience on your web application and on your website. But before we move into the video section, um, if this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button down below because that's the only way you help other people to get to see this content easily. All right, let's jump into the video. Okay, so before we go forward, let me explain what a pseudo class is. A pseudo class is a CSX selector week that you can use to target HTML element that has to do with state. All right, things like your link, your link has to do with state, which we have like the over, we have the over state, the visited state, the unvisited state, the active state, right? Those are like um, HTML element with state. We also like have other HTML element that had to do with state, things like your your but your input field also had to do with state well we'll just use um, the link elements to use it to explain what a pseudo class is and how you can be able to use pseudo class to maneuver your state and also how you can use pseudo class to um target a specific html element that has to do with like a list kind of um, say like a sequential kind of uh, 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 html element like li element so i'll be showing you how to do that and also using the the language pseudo class pattern to target a specific language and change some properties around it all right so let's go well before we continue let me just we have a simple menu here with a link um on them let me just style them so that you can be able to like let it be a little bit visible and clean so we can proceed with whatever we want to do okay so for me to start this this is like just a basic html element we have the header the nav ul li and a so let's start by let's do this so ul and the first thing I want to do, I want to make it to be horizontal, right? I want to make all the HTML, the LI item to be horizontal. Also, I want to remove the, the bullet icon that you're saying there. So is that so the next thing I need to do is to create a space in between them. So um I'll probably just do um li here. So let's let's give it a padding. Um let's say we do 0 0.5 top button rams one point one rams left and right then let's add the background color to it so i'll be doing dodger blue um i love dodger blue right so we have dodger blue so we want to now create space in between each of the menu item so i'll be using um an adjacent um, pattern of selector whereby i'll select only the adjacent elements the adjacent element is like the the elements next to each other so the first elements will not be affected it's only the ones that are the, in the sequence all right so which is you do um do like this this is how you write an adjacent selector you do like this so this way it only targets those element uh let's do to only target the first the second third fourth element this guy will not be affected right so this let me just add border so to show you that that guy is actually not affected you get so you see that those first three elements are affected but the the last three elements are affected but the first one is not affected that's like most uh, method i usually use to create space in between elements and i don't want the style to affect the left hand side of um the first element so this is it all right so the next thing i want to do i want to give the text color and also remove the horizontal um line that you're seeing there so i'll just target the a item i'll change the color to white then on the horizontal line is for text decoration which is the properties i'll use to change the horizontal line so i don't want the horizontal line so i'll just set it to none yeah you can set it to whatever you want to set all right so the first sudo, uh, sudo class element that we'll be talking about is the default uh link right so but before that let me just show you the structure that we'll be using as a sudo element so the structure is your selector your sudo class and the property and value so i will show you by say, selecting so we have um this guy so a is our selector or probably we can just do like this you can just do like this right so the a is the selector why the link is like the link is an anchor tag so it's link all right so this is the default state of any html link right meaning this is the default state whatever color you give it to now that will be the color that it will use for the default state as you can see all of them are changing to red so this is how you, you are changed the default state of your html element this is one of the state of anchor tag which is your link element as you all know so we're just using the default state which is the normal default state but we don't want to change it to red we just want to give it another color or probably just say let, let's stick with white since we already give the element white so when you visit the element which is the next um pseudo class that we'll be talking about when you visit the element 
it is called visited based on the HTML class. So you say if this element, if this link element is visited, meaning you've clicked on the link and the link has redirected to another page. Note, don't forget, if the page did not load, that that HTML element will not the link uh, attribute color will not work. So just know that. So we are changing the color to let's say pink, right? So it's only visited HTML elements that will color will change to pink. So let's the, the first one. Let's click on this home and it will redirect to another page, which is LinkedIn.com. And this is the LinkedIn. Then let's go back. Then you now see that the color is has now changed to pink because we've now visited this link, right? So this is like the visited state. So the rest we've not visited them. That's why you see they are still the same color the way they are. So I'll just try to visit on this about uh yeah, so about this liftup.org. So at the website, this is the website, and let's go back. And you see that this link is also affected because we say when that link is visited, give it a color pink. And as you can see, the text color is looking pinkies, right? All right, so the next state is um active state. So active state is the state like is the, is the point where you just click on the link, like the clicking of the link is the active state. So let's do that. Say active. And we want to change the color of the text to let's do red, right? So if we come back to this link and click now, you see that when I click and hold it, the color of the text is red, red. Meaning, I say when you click on that element, let the color the of the active state be red. And when I release it, you see that it has changed color. All right. So let me do the same to this. So you get to see that when I click it. And all it you see the red when I leave it, it will not redirect. When I come back to the page, you see that the, the color of this text will not be pink. So when I click it, as you can see, you see the red. When I come back, you see that it's not showing visited. All right, so that's that about the page. So that's a, that about the active state. So there, there's another state called the over state. So the over state is the is the process of you moving your mouse on top of the um the HTML element which is called um, our anchor tag so let's do that here so if I over on it as you can see it's changing color to pink so this overset is almost on on all the HTML element that you that is visible to your page when you over on it you see the color so let's add a div here and also try to show you how that work all right so that is the overstate for um, your link item. So when you move your mouse, you see that the color is already changing. So that's like the overstate for the link uh, element. So we've we talked about um, the default state, which is white, visitor state, active state, and overstate for your uh, HTML link tag. All right, next, the next we'll be talking about is the pseudo class for char like the chart element. So since this um, our menu item is like a link element and we are using li, so we just use this li to explain what we're trying to say about this uh, pseudo class for chart. So for example, let's say I want to select the first item here on this linked element and apply a particular style to it. Maybe I want to change the color. So since it's the home page, when the page loads, I want to select the first element and change the color style. So there's what we call, there's a child, um, first child pseudo class that you can use to do that. So what you just need to do, you say li, um, you say you, so right now, you say li and you say first, uh, first child. Um, probably want to change the background color to, let's say purple. All right, as you can see, uh, yeah, purple is fine. As you can see, we've selected the first element, which is this guy on the list, right? You know, I remember I told you that most of this element, um, first child and uh, the pseudo child selector, class selector is meant for like something like there's like a list of item or maybe some things that you want to like select a different um, uh, element. You probably want to skip some, you want to get some. So this pseudo, class is like the go-to for you to do this so let's say for example you want to select um you want to select the last item so you can do last child so we have first child and we have last child so this will select the last element which is this guy and you to apply this particular style to it so i know in your head you'll be like thinking like what if i want to select just the third item how do you get to do that yes there's a selector called the end child selector so which is written like this so, and you can say 
child right so let me just l i sorry so this is the nth child so that you can specify if you say one it will apply to one so let me change the color to white back uh, oh because of the color is meant for the a tag so it will not change so let me instead of doing that let me just do background color for it uh, so we'll do background color let me just use some odd color here as you can see, the first item. So when you change it, first one means first. So if you change this to two, you see to move to the second item. You change it to three, change it to four. And if you say five, since five is not existing, it will not take any effect. So let's try minus sign and see if minus sign actually work. You see, it doesn't work. So it's only positive um, value. All right, so that's how you be able to like select using the end child selector to select a specific HTML element and apply whatever style you want to apply to it. All right, so the next one we'll be talking about is the lang sudo class. So we can actually so let's say for example, let me add a div here and a paragraph and have like a Loris instance here. So I probably want to add a quote here. So let me just do the secure here. Uh, let me just select those few area q here so this q stands for like quote when you are applying quotes to html tag as you can see already having a quote wrapping this text right so let's say for example i want to target this html element using the sudo class called lang and based on the specific language i apply here so let me give this quote a lang attribute and give it a value of no right so now now come here and say q which is target the q element that have the lang attribute that is equal to no right then i want to change i want to change the quotes like the two quotes that you're seeing on top so there's a css um property called quotes so you do space this so i can try to put anything here so let me do let me use tilde as you can see tilde is here and tilde as you can see it's changing the tilde you see instead of quotes it's now using tilde so let me do um uh, i don't know what sign is this rather this is template string rather i'm sorry so this is tilde so let me just use tilde to wrap the text all right you see so you can decide to change the text you can even make it to be single quotes as you can see so that's how you can use the lang sudo class selector to target a specific html element that has the lang attribute and apply a specific kind of code or whatever thing you want to apply to it so we've come to the end of this video and i would like to like summarize from the top down so the first we did was that we talked about what a sudo class is we say is a, is a css selector that we use to target html elements and maneuver the state and also um also maneuver the list item and the language um attributes to it so we start by using the link element here which this is the default for the link and we also uh, apply different color for the visited link like link that you've clicked before and it loads the page don't forget if the page did not load this color will not change and also if you're having a duplicate of the url let's say for example all this uh, url that you're putting here they are all the same once you click on one element all the item will change color because they have all they have the same uh, URL link so note that when you are doing that if you end up having such error so then and we also talked about um, the overstate the active state when you click you see the color way or oh, rather sorry when you let me just uh, so the state is messed up already so when you click like the active state is meant to just change the color but since the over is already taking effect that's why you're not saying it so after that we know also talked about the li the child uh, pseudo class selector where you can select the child of a particular html element and give it a specific star by using the nth child or the first or the last child pseudo class selector and we also talked about the lang pseudo class selector which can select an html element with a pseudo class lang and a particular attribute value and specify whatever you want to do to it so we've come to the end of this video please if you forgot to click the like and subscribe button please don't forget to do that click the like and subscribe button so that other can be able to see this video content easily thank you in the next video we'll be talking about another kind of pseudo selector stay tuned